Hey there, welcome to Hiking for Health California. Today we are going to be doing an app review on the All Trails app. And just to make sure you're very clear, I am reviewing the free edition, not the premium, paid, whatever they call it, edition, because I have used the All Trails free app, free version, quite a bit. <clears throat> Never found a need to pay for the, the premium stuff. So I'm not going to review that because I don't have any experience with it. Fair enough? All right. All Trails. Come right out and say it that it is a fantastic, at the very least, starting point um, for even finding hikes. You see all the time people coming on the online hiking groups. Where can I find a hike in such and such area? Anybody have any idea? I just moved to such and such city. Anybody have any idea if there's any hiking around here, blah, blah, blah? Okay, All Trails is the perfect solution to that issue. It really is, especially this free version that I use all the time. I mean, it, it literally lets you just type in your area, area code, the city you live in, name of the city, anything like that. You just type that in and it will give you a whole list of, of, of options of nearby things and you can even tell it what kind of range you're looking at. Uh, find me hikes within 50 miles. Find me hikes within 100 miles. So it's really nice to be able to do that. And like I said, I use that as a starting point because I have found that sometimes because all trials is quite a bit driven by user entry so me especially as a premium all trail if if i were a premium all trails user the paid thing i could do all kinds of entries and stuff like that <clears throat> and and add things to it and, and and set things up i think even the free version you can do that um but the only problem is is, is then you just have to trust that that person knows what the heck they're talking about unfortunately not everyone does some people just kind of assume certain things and then that doesn't stop them from hey you can go hiking over here well just because you went hiking that one day over there doesn't mean it's a trail so as an example uh, <clears throat> um, there's a thing on all trails that I looked up in my area the white slew loop when I was trying to get some some bigger miles in daily white slew loop eight miles oh my gosh that's perfect I'm looking for something more than five and eight would be, you know, a little bit more than five. That'll get me push my boundaries a little bit because I've, I've gotten to five now and I'm starting to do five regularly. Uh, let's see if I can get a little more in there. Okay, so I go out to the White Slew Loop. And I get halfway around and I run into a gate. Now the gate is easy to get around because it's between, it's on top of a levee and stuff like that. But then I get around on this side of the gate and I even put the video up there, you'll see the video. That once I got on that side of the gate, on this side of the gate, it says private property, no trespassing. So I've been hiking this whole time in this area that's considered private property. So I keep walking. And I had seen a couple of, it, it's, it's, it's basically a big levee trail that is on top of a levee. And on the inside of the levee, you've got the channel on one side, the slough, the water slough on one side. And on this side is basically an island that's a big farm, private farm. Now, most of the levees out here in this area, the Stockton area, the Delta area, um, they're county levees, and so you could walk on them. Some of them even have bike trails and are paved. The ones that aren't, you can still walk on them during daylight hours. <clears throat> well, this levee, I think, at least part of it was private. Um, but it seems that the farmers don't, don't matter. But see, all trails had that down as an actual trail. I don't think it really is. Now, later, doing some research with uh, uh, my youngest child's cross-country team. They call that the Shima Loop, because that's the Shima Farm. And, uh, and it is basically private property, but there's an understanding with the farmer that if you stay up on the levee, go ahead, perfectly fine. Um, but is it an official trail? No, but it is listed as one on all trails. So stuff like that. And also there's been a couple of times as far as accuracy goes where I'm not sure whoever put the mileage in for a trail where they started their mileage. Because I will start my mileage counter right at the trailhead. Here's the sign that says trail here. Bam. I start. I get on the trail. <clears throat> and then I'll figure out the mileage. Well there'll be times like uh, one of the times I went out to Round Valley uh, Regional Park. Okay this hike goes over here and goes out to... Uh, the Los Vaqueros and comes back that's supposed to be an eight mile hike okay so I did it starting at the trailhead follow the, the exact route that 
all trails said to follow, got out to the lake, and I look, and I'm at six miles getting out there. Hmm, I don't think this is going to be an eight-mile hike if it took me six miles to get out there. So, yeah, sure enough, it was a 12-mile hike. I was dog-tired at the end. Good hike, had a good time. But that's a significant accuracy problem. If people are really expecting an eight-mile hike and they end up having to do 12, that could be a safety issue for some people. Fortunately, at the time, I was in good enough shape that I made it. I was fine, um, and I had the extra time uh, to put in the extra miles. It was a fun hike. I had a good time, but wow, 8 and 12, that's a huge difference, uh, especially for some people and things like that. So watch out for that, and that's why I say All Trails is a really good starting point. You should do further research, and I've talked before on the kinds of things you should do to prep for a hike. One of them is researching the area. That's the thing. Don't let all trails be the only thing you, you, you do your research with, okay? That's a great way to start and find hikes and things like that. But you need to do more than that. You can't just all trail it. Okay, now I have all the information I ever need. No, not quite. Not in my opinion. Okay? So a little bit of accuracy issues there. And, and you know, it can be fixed. Because, like I say, it's user-driven as far as that kind of information goes. But I really do like the fact that you can do user reviews. People can tell you. Some of them are kind of ridiculous, though. I saw a person, they hiked in February. And I remembered that February was very rainy. It's rainy here in California. And they were complaining about the foothills up there near the Round Valley Regional Park. <clears throat> we went out and, and the trails were muddy and blah, blah, blah. And this and that happened. And it was just, it was a horrible hike. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you gave the trail a bad review because you went out in the middle of rainy season after a huge storm and found mud on the trail. And so you gave that trail a bad review and gave the regional park a bad review because it was muddy after a storm. It, I tell you, it takes all kinds and there are all kinds out there. So anyway, you're going to have to take some of those, those user reviews with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah. So all trails. I give it three and a half see that little star three and a half out of five uh, again because it's a fantastic starting point but it does have its flaws and they are the kinds of flaws that like i've said before like i just said at the beginning i am reviewing the free app even the paid app that that's not going to change the information that you can get on, on the trails as far as how long the trails are if it's an official trail because another example really was looking forward to when we did a trip across country to take my oldest child to college she's going to a college in Georgia we drove across the country and we stopped at the Grand Canyon and near that is a large impact crater site and uh, I think it's the Winslow crater I think it's it's near Winslow I know that <clears throat> well all trail says that there's a trail that goes all the way around it and it's a trail. I mean, it's marked as a trail. It gives you distance and everything. Now, maybe it used to be a trail. Fantastic. Um, but when you get there, you can't walk that trail. I looked forward to it and stuff like that. But I asked all the official people, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, there's a trail. People used to walk around it. But it was never a real trail. And no, you can't do that now. You can get on the tour group and it goes out this far. And then they come back. But you can't go all the way around it. Now, the trail is kind of there, I think, for the people who own the thing, it's privately owned, um, to do like a maintenance loop around it. And it, like I say, they, it probably used to be a trail. People used to be able to walk around it, but currently no. But if you look it up on all trails, it looks like there's a trail there that you can hike. Okay, so it got my hopes up, uh, but it wasn't accurate. So those kinds of little accuracy things brings it down a bit for me. So three and a half stars. And that's the all trails app review. Fantastic for beginning. Um, and really cool for sharing and things like that. A little bit of flaws with some of its accuracy, but other than that, really good app. I do recommend it, uh, and it'll save you time from going online and saying, hey, I moved to such and such place. Any hikes nearby? The All Trails app can answer that question for you and get you started on, review, on researching actual trails. All right, I'll catch you later.